Hi, and welcome to Module 31 of Mechanics of Materials, Part 1. In this module, we're going to continue our learning outcome of deriving the strain transformation equations for the case of plain strain. So here's the case of plain strain, no strains in the Z direction. In general, we say that we can find the uh, strains for plain strain in any normal or tangential direction for any angle uh, theta. And we, last time, did a lot of math. We used the law of cosines on this geometry and some trig identities and came up with the normal strain transformation equations. So if we know epsilon x, epsilon y, gamma xy, we can find epsilon normal. Now you can do the same thing for the shear stress transformation equation. And I'm not going to go through all the math. You can, you can go through the math in a reference. It's, it's a very similar approach that I did in, in the previous lesson uh, or the previous module. This time, however, you use the law of sines geometry and trig identities, and you come up with a shear strain transformation equation that ends up looking like this, or it can also be expressed like this. And so now, for the case of plane strain, we have the complete set of uh, two-dimensional plane strain transformation equations for normal strain and for shear strain. And we'll continue on with those next module.